they were vermin. They were listed on the vermin list continent-wide as, uh, as killers of game birds and valuable, valuable game to, to what was called legitimate hunters, legitimate hunters being people who shot ducks mm -hmm. and pheasants and such with shotguns. Mm -hmm. And they were considered illegitimate, just as though they were criminals, to be hunted down and disposed of because the humans wanted the hunting to all to themselves. Right. And uh, the, uh, the hunting and fishing magazines, which were legion in the, uh, uh, there, were, there were half a dozen of them being published continent-wide, uh, rod and gun and hunting and fishing and uh, different regional mm -hmm. magazines of the same type and all the munition makers were advertising in those magazines at that time that this bird is your enemy, shoot it on sight. Wow. Peregrine falcons, goshawks, goss red-tailed hawks, it didn't matter. Right. As long as it had a hooked beak and sharp claws, it was uh, hunted down and and they had big roadside hunts. I remember at Lacombe, where I lived uh, as a kid, uh, the, or, or automobile travel of the main highway between Calgary and Edmonton with guns in the car shooting every, every post-sitting red tail or every, uh, every wow. uh, Raptor that was close enough to the road or flying in the air that was close enough for a shotgun to bring it down uh -huh. And they collected the feet for bounty mm -hmm. But I think the rules of, uh, ha That they must start with a red tail or some crap like that is 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 ridiculous or a kestrel There's no the easiest bird in the whole Retinue of falconry to train is a wild caught tearsal jeer. You can get places with it faster, easier, with less work and less trouble than any than anything else. A wild caught tearsal jeer falcon. They are delightful to work with. Why should an apprentice how to how to drive a tractor before he can drive a car right. it's an artificial construct it's an artificial construct it is the most overregulated harmless totally harmless activity that has ever come but it is, it is overregulated because of socialist concepts and socialist thinking Actions and the t total socialization. Socialization means that you, that, that you do, you set up things like uh, the World Center so, for Birds right, of Prey. Right. And so, that's, that's, that, that's the socialist philosophy. You, you, the, you set up a new, in effect, you set up a new privileged class. Either there can be massive recognition that keeping a falcon is less destructive to anything or anybody than keeping a domestic cat. A trained falcon kills less protected species of, of, uh, of insectivorous and, and so-called useful birds. My little maxi out there, I, uh, there's one maxi out there, I am living in a subdivision, there are at least five cats. Mm -hmm. Which one, which, uh, which is more destructive? Which needs licensing the more? The five cats or six cats or seven cats that surround me in this subdivision and roam freely over the whole, each, uh, all of them roam freely over the whole six or ten houses in the subdivision or more. And one Tearsal hybrid out there for which I am supposed to have a permit, but don't because being a hybrid it cannot possibly be wildlife. Mm -hmm. But I am supposed to need a permit for that and an annual permit for that 
and uh, a hunting uh, a, a hunting license for that, right. and countless other things for that, and an annual reporting of that, which, in honest truthfulness, needs the more regulation of the five cats. So how do we stop it? You said there were two ways. One way is to go the, way, the same way as the people did with five cats. They need no regulations because they have taken the matter to court countless, countless, countless times of their cats killing birds, and the courts have found that that is the natural behavior of cats, and so uh, it is out of the human realm of regulation. Okay. What's the second way? And so the the people who want to license cats and the people who want to control cats and the bureaucracies are caught in the legal, the legal situation and they no longer ask for license of cats. They pay no attention whatsoever to cats and any mention of cats makes their backs bristle and them turn away and face the wall. They may know they're destructive, but they know they are absolutely powerless to do th anything about it. And we can achieve pretty darn good falconry in North America by just carrying on as we are and being very difficult to pin down and some of us uh, uh, concentrating on the keeping of birds that, are, that the bureaucrats cannot control because they are not wildlife which in Canada includes Harris hawks and all hybrids. And that's why I want that and, saker. And, uh, yes, well, and that kind of thing. Right. And so confusing the issue by what is or is not a hybrid that it becomes impossible for the regulators to convince the enforcement people to back their regulations and it falls into complete decay and disuse just the same way that all of the regulations pertaining to cars and horses and carrying a man swinging a lantern and blowing a horn and saying a car is coming down the road that bedeviled the early car drivers but were swamped and made irrelevant, even though many of those regulations are still on the books, uh, who pays any attention to them? Right. Right. They can't be enforced anymore. And the same thing, we, we can find our way back to the situation as it was when the birds were vermin and could be taken here and there anywhere just by, call it benign neglect by the regulators. And we can cause that to happen by making the situation too complex, too, too troublesome for them to try and regulate, just as has happened with cats, well, and to North a large America, extent with in, dogs, too. In the United States, what they've done recently is they've raised our falconry fees. Mm -hmm. My fee went from $5 to $100 mm -hmm. a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, I, I don't know uh, exponentially what growth that is, but it's an incredible change in fee. Uh, for me to simply have to file a form uh, yeah. every year, send so don't in a fee. So, so don't file it. And get yourself some, get, uh, yeah, do, get yourself some hybrid birds or some birds that don't fall under the wildlife regulation. To have a rule where under the penalties of perjury, um, I attest that everything on this form is truthful and whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and yes, mm -hmm. I did within five days of receiving this bird, send the form off, and I have ADD, and to tell you the truth, it's very hard for me to do things like that in five days. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. I forget. Well, but I feel like a, a criminal uh, and, and, simply because and, I'm on day and, six. No, and in set into that is that in the fundamental analysis of the, the, of the thing, it is completely unnecessary. It serves no purpose whatsoever. I agree. No purpose whatsoever.